ladies and gentlemen, we are from Goma German Senior High School. My name is Christiana Usumesa from the Home Econs Department. My name is Gladys Ahemfo from the Home Econs Department. I'm Frederick Emlo from Business Department. And we are here to present, once again, present our STEM project. Now, now we chose Urban Gardening. This is how far we have gone with our project. We now, one may ask, what is Urban Gardening? Mm. Urban Gardening is the process of growing crops at urban areas. Thank you. As my brother said, Urban Gardening is the process of growing crops at the urban areas. Now, as we can all testify, most crops are being grown in the rural areas and then transported into the urban areas. Since these urban areas have been mostly used as construction sites, some places have been tiled, some places have been terraced and stuff. Getting an easy access to a fertile soil is not that kind of easy. Now let's see some problems this project can solve in urban areas. Some of the problems are one, absence of fertile land or soil for plant growth. Not enough space in urban areas for crop production. Pollution caused by improper disposal of used containers or bottles. Now, let's see some of the causes of these problems. One is some causes of these problems are urbanization caused by erection of buildings and construction of roads. And two, that's improper disposal of used bottles and containers. Let's see some of the effects these problems give us. One is lack of fertile land or soil for crop production. The absence of fertile land or soil is a drawback for the production of food to meet the demands of the increasing human population. Two, environmental pollution breeds disease such as cholera and malaria and causes disasters such as flood. Now, our hypothesis for the project is growing crops in the absence of fertile land or soil in areas with not enough space. And also in Ghana, most of crop production comes from the rural areas. So in most urban areas, in absence of getting a fertile land to grow your crop, you can decide to also use this process. What do we see here? We have our two containers, contain, having um, two lettuce plants. We have poultry dropping, soaking water. That is our solution. And then you can have another alternative that you can use um, composting made of organic kitchen matter. That one you can serve as the same nutrient. Here we have um, disposable cup here. And then as you can see, this one we use sawdust. And then there is perforations made on the disposable cup. And we have our wick. That's it serves as an absorber. That's taking the solution to the plant. Now we have salt dust here. That is holding the roots of the plant to help hold it structurally firmly inside the disposable cup. And the way to is absorbing, as I say, the solution to the roots of the plant. Now one may ask. Why sawdust? Let's see some advantages of sawdust. Sawdust helps the plant to stand firmly without using the loamy soil. You can also use the sawdust to grow your crops. And two, it's an is it's very easy to get. It is very easy to work with. And then three, it does not contain any diseases. Yes. As my sister said, it is disease free. Some fertile soil has disease that can affect the plant growth. But here yeah, this sawdust is disease free. Now you can also decide to use sawdust because in some urban areas getting access to a fertile soil is a problem. So in face of a fertile soil you can decide to use the sawdust.
Thank you. This is how far we have gone with the project. Once again, we are from Goma Damai Senior High School. Thank you all.